Yo, man. What's man? Listen, my nigga. What's goody, man? I done made about four videos a day, man. I'm, and I finally got back to my car off the truck. So I'm about to go get something to eat for the fan bam, and I'm going home to kick my feet up. But. <laughs> man, listen, man. I haven't had this channel that long. I got a lot of videos on here, though. I do, like, but, you know, I've been, I've been grinding. I, I have fun doing this shit, nigga, get in the car and just drive and talk. I love to talk. I love to conversate. You know what I'm saying? I love to, I, I, I just, I, I love the dialogue. I love the debate. I love the back and forth. I love, inter I love to just, I, I like to voice my opinion. So it's dope to be able to get in, you know, get on the camera, get in the car, get in front of the camera, driving, you know, spill my thoughts, you know, shit that I have just locked up in my, in my thought process that I'm not able to voice all the time. Only way I can voice it is through social media and all that shit. So it's dope to get in front of a camera and speak, man. But I love, I have, a, I got, I think I got more, you know, videos talking about this dude, which it ain't a lot, but it's still like, all right, bro, like. You kind of dragging it, you know, and it will come off like I'm dick riding or something like that. And I swear that ain't the case, man. But Canelo Alvarez, man, I just I just heard he did a, fi a interview with Fight Hype or Fight Hub or some shit like that saying the Jamal Charlo fight has to happen this year. That is what I'm talking about, man. And I have no re I have no more. I have no reserves that it was Oscar De La Hoya behind all of the sucker shit that he was doing that people hate him for. I have no doubt in my mind vacating the belts you know what i'm saying rehydration clauses and 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 what else um uh, uh catch weights and all that shit i have no doubt in my mind that that was oscar de la hoya and not canelo i have no doubt in my mind man the minute he got out of the grips of oscar de la hoya went right up to 68 no rematch clause no none of that bullshit we i'm gonna meet you where you at and let's get into that. You can balloon up however however much you want to. So I have no doubt in my mind that that was Oscar De La Hoya that was at the, you know, that was doing that bullshit. And I'm glad that he got away from that nigga. So now he can forge his own legacy. You know what I'm saying? Oscar De La Hoya was trying to live vicariously through Canelo Alvarez after completely belittling Floyd Mayweather for doing it. After Belito and Floyd for doing the little, you know, the antics that he would do to try to get the most bang for his buck for the mo uh, for the least amount of work, he turned around and did it with his fighter. So I won't do. You can't you you can't knock me for doing it as a fighter, but you can. I, I won't do it, but I'll see to it that my fighter does it. And you know, just when you when when somebody has been in your corner since you know you started out, you know you grow some sort of affinity with that individual, so you're not as quick to wild out on them. That took an I can't, that was an accumulation of frustration for him to be like he can't even come to camp no more you know he still manages ryan garcia or he's still uh you know he's still a promoter for ryan garcia you can't go in there you can't go check on you, you can't even go in there and see how ryan garcia is doing you dig so i have no doubt no doubt in my mind that that was oscar de la hoya and for canelo to finally break free of that i'm fighting up at 168 I'm going on to be, I'm, the goal is to be the own, the, the first undisputed champion at 168 pounds, Make just adding more, you know, adding more and more, more trinkets to his resume. I think that shit is impeccable. I think that shit is dope, but he has to do it. You know, you got to get through Yildrum. You never count a fighter out. If the fight goes out, you know, according to how we all expect to go, to go you know, he's going to step on him. And that's gonna, you know, stay busy fight. So I ain't gotta wait around and get, you know, let my muscles get cold. I, you know, I can be warmed up before I get into the Billy Joe Saunders fight. And if I get through Saunders, yo, bring on Undisputed with Caleb Plant. And I told y'all uh, in my last video I did on Canelo, Jamal can be a possible fourth for this year. Dude is gunning for four fights this year. That's throwback 80s and 90s and 70s shit, man. When you see fight, we don't see fighters of his, of his stature fighting that many times in a year it was a special event when floyd fought even when manny fought it was a special event we ain't gonna see we gonna see these niggas twice and we gotta be cool with, and content with that he talking about four times in one year bro that is dope you gotta salute that 
that you gotta salute that. And Charlo, it, I, I, I hope and pray that it's Charlo, I really do. I, at this point, I'd rather see Charlo than David Benavidez. I'd rather see a fight with Charlo than David Benavidez. Just go, just so he can shut niggas the fuck up. I, 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 I need to see that. I do. They have every excuse possible, you know, every excuse at their disposal. It's just, it's stupid. He ain't fought a slick fighter since Floyd Mayweather. He ain't miss. Andrade is the, the you know the, the 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 personification of a of a slick fighter. Here's Landy Lara. Oh Lara beat. They gonna hold on to that Lara shit. Lara beating Lara beat. I think Lara beating, but Lara got beat, and I understand why he got beat. He ain't fought a slick fighter since then. We don't see Floyd and Lara type of caliber fighters come across that you know that often. We we don't. You damn sure ain't gonna see Floyd. Lara, come on man, like we not we not gonna see that that often. To that magnitude, Danny Jacobs is a slick fighter. Danny Jacobs is slick. But Danny Jacobs, oh man, nah, I'm that, I mean, who's Danny Jacobs? He ain't he ain't never been no contender. He ain't never been this, he ain't never been that. But Demetrius Andrade is. Who has fought nobody. Just the mind of these fucking, you know what I'm saying? These dick mouths, man. Like y'all niggas are some cocksuckers, man. Like, what are y'all talking about? What are you talking about? I, just, I don't. I don't like that shit, man. Just I, you know, I, I, this shit bothers me. The shit bothers me that comes out of them. Just don't don't denigrate one brother. Danny Jacobs is far more accomplished than goddamn Demetrius Andrade. And I know that's his man. And Demetrius Andrade is dope. But he's not no goddamn Danny Jacobs. He's not. He's not. Danny Jacobs is far more proven than Demetrius Andrade. Far more. Far more. Like, come on, man. Like, I just, I don't, I don't like this notion that this dude is, you know, Canelo. Why Canelo is not ducking a slick fighter when he slick his goddamn self? I don't think. Like, what, what type of time is niggas on to where Demetrius Andrade is the litmus test of sick of slickness? Which he's slick. He's slick. He is. What is this? And I think he, you know, his style. I, I, him, Saunders, and Caleb Plant are the ones that I see giving Canelo the biggest issues because of their slickness, because of their footwork. Those three. I've been, say, I've been saying that for some time now. I've been saying that for some time now, but even with that, I'm not, I don't, no. No. I haven't seen anything. Motherfuckers is just so, oh, fight Andrade, fight Andrade, he ducking Andrade. How is he ducking Andrade? And how has Andrade put himself in a position to where he can say, yo, I am, I deserve my shot at Canelo. Even Charlo, what can they say? I deserve my shot at Canelo. They honestly haven't, they haven't earned it like that. Their names and their good names to have on your resume, but to a point where these niggas is talking about he ducking, fuck no. You know, on these boxing forms, I'm seeing a lot of, I, oh my God, I, I hate you. I hate, oh fraudulent ass black nationalists bro like y'all niggas is not of that y'all not of that elk it's weird you know you try to meet the you know you niggas is newcomers that like within the the past few the past year or two you want to come on here and you know speak on certain talking points and i'm like you sound like a dickhead fuck out of here bro it's just, the shit is irritating man it's real irritating is real irritating and the work that dude is putting in he's not gonna get credit for it because he hasn't fought jamal charlo as if jamal charlo is the personification of excellence him and andrade they're not honestly they're not they're great they're good opponents they're good opponents but they are not of the stature of what they talking about i think jamal i, I was i would say jamal charlo because of just the caliber of competition that he fought which isn't much better than andrade I, I would say I would I would like his chances. I think he you know he would present a little bit more of a worthy. Uh, 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 uh. He'd present a better you know a better chance than Andrade because Andrade just he hasn't really he hasn't really tested his shit against the you know some live wires. The Revianchenko was a fucking a, a contender a legitimate contender. 
who by some people some people believe he beat Golovkin I did but I understand why Golovkin won as well you know, like Andrade has Andrade doesn't have a fighter the caliber of um of uh 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 uh, uh, uh Chinko over his resume matter of fact from, uh, they share an opponent in um Jack Cole Clay and he beat Cole Clay like man, come on, man. Just I, I, I and I think it's and people are. I think you know now, people are you know somewhat overrating Derevianchenko because I, I seen somebody say he's a great fighter. I'm like he's a really solid opponent, and I had him beating Charlo going into the fight. I'm not gonna front. I did because I didn't. I'm like you know Charlo just doesn't jab enough, and if he gets it, if he's able to get past your guard and cut them angles the way he was cutting them on fucking Golovkin, it was gonna be a long night for Charlo because Charlo is not. He, he, he's lethargic on his feet. And what did he do to make sure that he couldn't get in his chest? He pumped the jab all night. Good jab, too. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You look great in that fight. You look great in that fight. You really did. But is that fight worthy of a Canelo Alvarez fight, bro? Like, come on, man. I just, I don't, I don't get a lot of these cats, man. Just how they, you know, how they think and how they operate. It's just really just. That, it, it, they're goofy to me. They're really goofy. So, salute to Canelo Alvarez, man, for looking to go four times this year. I commend it. I'll be tuning in tomorrow to see you catch wreck on Yildrum. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go, champ. I'll be tuning in. I mean, what more else can I say, man? Like and subscribe, man. Peace.